and it works. Uh, already 18 was in many ways a complicated ecological world for us. Already 2018 was a complicated ecological world for us. Well, I'm happy to, to report that three years' performance in Russian CIS, 2018, saw a 13.5% local currency growth. We are clearly taking market share, we are clearly, together with our customers, growing our presence in this market. And when we see this across the company, we see this in all of our five business group, solid performance, solid growth, and customer demand increasing by our better focus. Just to mention a few specifics and, and very much linked to what Alexander Sherpano will talk about here in a few minutes. Uh, our safety in graphics business. Safety in practice consists of uh, traffic safety, it, it consists of uh, uh, foils and pins, and it also consists, consists of personal protection equipment. Uh, we saw a significant uptick, growing 12% in this business, and particularly in our uh, personal protection business, where we already have a significant position in the Russian market. We firmly believe that the reason for, for that performance is related to our local manufacturing capabilities, local R&D capabilities, and then really a pipeline of new products that we have been able to uh, present to uh, the market. And this MPI pipeline, the new product pipeline that I talked about, has enabled us in, in 2018% a new line of eye protection, a new line of welding protection, and also a new line of fall protection, all aimed specifically for the markets that we are focusing on in Russia. That together with uh, the certificate that, that we uh, got from uh, the Ministry of Industry and Trade in 2018, uh, where we now are considered to be a local manufacturer of Respirators, breathing respirators. Obviously, help us. Then we, we, we foresee that our safety and graphics business will continue to have good, good growth output in the coming years. One other business I would like to mention before we move into the CIS fund, this is our industrial business. Industrial business globally represents roughly a third of 3M companies. 
На глобальном уровне бизнес группа занимает примерно одну треть всех продаж. I'm happy to say that we now start to really see a tremendous growth also in the Russian market with close to 20 percent of growth in 2018. Я отмечу, что в итоге прошлого года бизнес группа у нас также выросла на почти 20 процентов российского рынка. Predominantly driven by automotive and transportation businesses, but also by car care and infrastructure businesses. Рост был в основном на рынках автомобилестроения, но также авторемонта и фильтрации. For us, it's interesting to try to follow. The, the, the local markets in a better way, and, and I am very encouraged to see Russia's commitment and investments in the biopharma industry. I think uh, several of the companies that have had a chance to follow, uh, the Russian companies that have had a chance to follow, are, are really developing fast, both in the Russian market and outside. And we would like, obviously, to try to contribute to their development with our innovation solutions. But it's also important for us to, to acknowledge the automotive industry in Russia. Roughly 1.6 million cars made in this market. And 3M is supplying them with abrasive solutions, tape solutions, sound dampening, and uh, vibration uh, solutions. And today we work almost with all of the car manufacturers in Russia. Мы на сегодняшний день работаем а, почти со всеми а, производителями а, автомобилей а, на российском рынке и представляем а, всевозможные решения для этого рынка. Это такие продукты, как а, магазинные материалы, различные пленки, плечи, материал, материалы для шумоизоляции и многое другое. So even though we saw strong growth in 2018, we know that we have a lot of things to do uh, with uh, th these types of industries in Russia. Uh, we know that we can, together with them, develop their products, uh, make them more innovative, and make them more competitive in, 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 in the market. Наши решения делают конечные продукты российских предприятий более эффективными, более конкурентоспособными. То, как мы помогаем российскому рынку, по сути, развиваться. So, just two words about the CIS structure. Несколько слов о том, как работает страна СНГ. One year ago we announced that we are merging Russia together with the CIS structure. Uh, a lot of work has gone into this. A lot of people have worked very, very hard. But I'm happy to say that we, we now see 3M being able to communicate, operate, and drive our business across this region in the world. На самом деле, не просто объединение, это огромная часть внутренней работы, которую мы проделали по объединению наших подразделений со странами СНГ. Но это привело к очень эффективному развитию этого подразделения. Particularly, I would like to single out our activities in Belarus and Kazakhstan, where we have significant operations and where we see a lot of investment areas for us for the future. Obviously within oil and gas and mining the sectors, but also within the food safety areas. But it's more than just Kazakhstan and Belarus. Uzbekistan, with the economy now opening up, represents a very interesting opportunity. 
Но помимо Беларуси и Казахстана, для нас э, сейчас также интересен Узбекистан, где открываются экономики и есть огромные возможности для развития. We believe that we have interesting solutions for that market, particularly around the traffic center. And then finally, I would like to mention uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan. Uh, Azerbaijan, particularly when you look at Bitcoin, currently, admittedly, troubled, uh, but Let's see if it rebounds. Represents good opportunities for us for our Nordic cooling portfolio. Uh, all of these markets and opportunities that I've talked about. We actually have or want to have locally manufactured products to service those markets. And then that's what we're going to talk a little bit in greater detail around now. 2018, we, we stood in front of you and talked about our intention 2018 2019 to invest roughly five and a half million dollars in Russia. However, uh, the opportunities that we have identified. We want everything I have said, better focus, better background support, uh, the integration of Russia CIS have made us change those plans. So, in, in reality, in 2018, we ended up investing 4.9 million dollars only for 2018 in Russia. And, and we are now today announcing that we intend to invest an additional 6.5 million US dollars in 2019. We are obviously very happy and very proud of that. It's a token that our customer has trust in what we do, that we have been able to provide 3M with an attractive return on investments, and that we are seen in many ways as a local supplier of high quality products. But to give you all of those details, uh, I think it's better that we give uh, our manufacturing manager for Russian CIS, Alexander Sherkalov, a chance to go through the details. Thank you.